Come in to what will be the Lifestyle Co's new design studio. We are here at our new design offices, which you can't tell yet that they're new because they're old right now, but they're gonna get new here really quickly. And I'm so excited to give you a behind the scenes before tour of the new offices. Give you the quick notes as to how we got here. About seven and a half years ago, I started the Lifestyle Co. as a blogger and started renovating and DIYing my way through our first home. That quickly changed into client projects. And in the last three years specifically, our team has tripled in size. Right now, we work at our warehouse. That's about 35 miles away from here where we fulfill all of our online orders and where most of our team works. We need to get out of there. We need our own space. We need to be able to design in a space that has beautiful light, gorgeous ceilings, and most importantly, make really, really amazing schemes for our clients. Our entire team will move, and when we're done renovating, you are not going to recognize it. When you arrive here at the studio, you will walk through, not this, um, a steel and glass front door that we are currently designing and fabricating with someone locally. Can't wait to get this entrance to really set the tone. You also will take in the beautiful windows that truly are one of the reasons why we bought the space. We love the light. I mean, this window is huge. It's hard to build them like that anymore. So, so we're really pumped to have that. And then you will enter right into the design studio where we'll, we will be designing. So one of the really neat elements of this space and why we wanted to move into a space like this so much is because not only will we be designing for our full service clients, but we'll also have the opportunity to meet with so many more of you so that we can help you design your renovations and your builds if you're not working with us in a full capacity. I wanna show you back here too. In addition to design, this space also has to serve as a home or a home away from home for our team. So we are so pumped to have a full kitchen here in the office. So while it's dark and very box looking now, it's going to have some of our favorite appliances so that we can help show our clients how to use them and get to reap the benefits of some of the good stuff. So we can't wait for that. We are having a built-in coffee maker because we are coffee people, that's for sure. And behind us, this very scary space is going to be our sample storage. So there is so much pretty with design, but there's also so many heavy materials that need a place to go. Right now, we have little to no storage. So we are checking samples all over the place. Sometimes we feel really bad for our reps because they have to find us wherever we might be and deliver samples to us. But now with the sample closet, we will be able to house everything, organize everything. There'll be light, there'll be light, and we'll be able to see all of our materials. Behind this door is scary bathroom number one. This space was a dental practice with carpet. <laughs> So while the dentist who allowed carpet in his practice shall remain nameless, it will be coming out for our practices moving forward. In addition, we can keep a lot of the space, but we also have to get rid of some things and reframe. And this spray paint is going to come in very handy because we start demo tomorrow and I need to tell the guys what we're doing. Some of the design elements that we love the most of this space is the natural light. And so in trying to bring in that natural light more so that we're designing around it, we gotta lose some walls. This is one of them. And one of the craziest parts about this wall is it's not actually even a structural wall. You can stick your little hand through there and high five your teammate on the other side. Hello. <laughs> but this wall has, oh, oh geez. <laughs> has got to go. Wait, how about? Yeah. <laughs> I would be a terrible graffiti person. <laughs> graffiti person. I would be a terrible graffiti expert. Back in this area of the space, we're going to knock these walls down and make it really open so that we can have a cohesive place for our interns and our assistants, the people that really help us make these things happen, and then our designers as well. So all of this is going. This, I think it was a treatment room, closet, something. This is where they make the retainers. I'm not totally sure. <laughs> 
not my area of expertise, but this is all going, so this will all be open. Moving into here, this is that wall that I just put my signature on with ODL. This is coming down, and then where this is now will be all open, so you'll get the full arch in the window here, and there'll be a big table here so that everyone on our team can come around a table, pull schemes, we'll have our tile, carpet, um, all of our flooring, all of our paint samples, wallpaper, everything that we need to bring a, um, a space together. We'll have that close by so that we can all scheme here together whenever we need to. We might need to keep this phone just for, <laughs> just. <laughs> Are you filming that? Ah, yeah. oh, come on. So this office will either be a designer's office, maybe a couple designers, or maybe a meeting room. What would it be like to have our own meeting room where we don't have to kick anybody out or say move over? We can actually just meet with beautiful natural light. I can't wait, I can't wait. Maybe they were changing motor oil from cars in here, <laughs> along with dental services. But yeah, all this is going, so don't worry. I pro it's gonna get better. So here we have a couple closets. This will end up being for media, printer, tech, all that stuff. And then all of our marketing materials will be here in the marketing closet. And then this, which is kind of one of the better offices, if not the best. Well, I'll show you mine in a minute, but it's pretty good. This is gonna be our marketing manager's office. She's so excited. She's gonna have a door, a door on her office. You guys, we, we deserve this, we really do. Um, but this space will be her office where she'll be able to create. Most of our marketing is done in-house between our marketing teams. And so she does our graphics, takes care of our website, does all of our social media. Everything we do happens here within our company. So it's really important that she has a space that's both inspiring to her, is an extension of our brand, and so she is close by. I have never in seven and a half years had my own space. Interestingly, if you talk to the team, I think they'll tell you that I don't know that I would have used an office or a chair or a desk of my own for this entire time because I tend to really like to be close to them and work as a team and collaborate. As things have grown and we're making bigger strategic decisions, I do think it's time for me to have my own space and this will be it. And it is so beautiful and it has a gorgeous patio that'll be just for us. I hope that the team joins me out there, but we have beautiful mountain views and we're gonna make these look fresh. There's a little bit of road noise, which I actually really love. I'm a city girl and I like to be reminded that there's a lot going on outside. Um, in addition to the patio, it also has scary bathroom number two, lucky me. <laughs> but I will have my own bathroom space but we're gonna bring it up and it's gonna look really, really beautiful and organic desert living as we've ever had for me in my own office, I can't wait. So now that I've given you a lay of the land and you've seen the before of the space, I hope you can see the potential we did. In classic designer fashion, we are our worst clients. We haven't made many decisions yet. I have no idea what tile we're putting on that bathroom floor. I have no idea what color the cabinets will be, but I promise we'll figure it out. Demo starts tomorrow, and the next time you see an episode from us, we will be able to show you all the finishes, what's going where, what walls have stayed. You'll get to see all the beautiful natural light, and we'll hopefully be installing some lighting fixtures.